All right, Shalom, um, Israel. Um, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that root well, and salutation to the fellow laborers that's out there in the ministry doing the work of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, day in and day out, in all truth and sincerity. You know, once again, this message to you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and uh, to the confused faces who bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent uh, through the seed of thy father, man. But basically, man, I'm just going to do a quick, you know, lesson about, you know, the up-and-coming spiritual power, man, because that's a heavy topic that brothers been getting into lately throughout the week, man, that spiritual power, man, you know. And, and, and the more and more we get closer to the downfall of America, Babylon the Great, the closer we are reaching our power, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the world calls God and Jesus, they're going to grant their man spiritual power, man. Just like how he gave the ancient prophets, you know, men of the Lord that represent him the, during, during the time of the ancient days, that spiritual power, man. Like Moses, Elisha, Elijah. You know, Cain, David, you know, Solomon, uh, uh, Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus, you know, and Yahweh Shah disciples, you know, all throughout the scriptures, man, the Lord always gave his man power in the time of the need, when they needed in the time of, you know, a, a, a trouble, man, and it's not going to be any different in the up and, con up and times of Jacob tr trouble that's coming, man, the men that out there doing the work, you know, that uh, um, believe in Yahweh Shah, you know, he's going to grant his man that spiritual power, man, because we about to come into a, a, a war versus, you know, good versus evil, man. And who are the evil? You Edomites, man. You so-called white people, man. You know, and Esau got all type of technology, you know, his carnality when it comes to his weapon, you know, because that's his blessing, man. You know, but the Lord is going to raise his men up with that spiritual power, man. And Esau show his show that he know that we're going to get that spiritual power, man. Because all these comic books, you know, superhero comic books, like Marvel, DC, you know, and, you know, and, you know Dragon Ball Z, you know, all these different uh, animation, um, uh, when it comes to super, super uh, human strength, you know, Esau get that from the scriptures, man. And he know that the nation of Israel is going to possess that power, man. That's why he coming out with all these different uh, uh, weaponries, man, you know, super soldiers, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, the dark program with different weaponries, uh, like laser guns, you know, they fighter jets, you know, they, they uh, exoskeleton suits, they get, you know, they, they, you know, they getting prepared for the war, man, for this race war, man, against you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Lord is going to give his man power to defend they self, man. You know, and we're looking for that power, man. Because we're in the time of spiritual power, man. Uh, all these prophecies being fulfilled, man. The downfall of America. Martial law. You know, famine. You know, pestilence. And the Lord is going to protect his men from all that. His elect men from all that. By the way, uh, defending them with spiritual power, man. But I'm going to uh, start off in the books of Acts. This is the books of... The book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. And when they therefore come together, they ask him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So this was during the time when Yahweh Shah, you know, was crucified. And he came back, you know, on the um, after the third day, you know, being resurrected. And the, the, he came and make himself presentable in front of the, the disciples. And, you know, and they was asking the Lord, is this the time? That you're going to restore the kingdom to Israel, man. You know. But this is what Yahweh Shah said. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the season, which the Father had put in his own power. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. So the Lord wasn't talking about the kingdom being established back then. You know, because the Lord had to go back into the spiritual realm, you know, and wait out for prophecies 
you know, when we failed as a nation, you know, during 70 AD, you know, during the time of the Dark Ages, you know, Esau, you know, falling out of power, then Esau coming back into power during the time of the Renaissance, and we went into captivity, man, you know, first by the uh, the Northern Kingdom being taken down by the uh, uh, Edomites on the Western Hemisphere over here in America, and when the Southern Kingdom, the Negroes, Haitians, and the Jamaicans came into captivity through the uh, Atlantic slave trade, man, you know, so this is now, now now we are in the time of the Lord raising his men up, man. That's why you're seeing brothers out there preaching his word, man. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone down, man. You know, the ones that's in the true doctrine, man, the true spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So the Lord said that, you know, we're going to receive power, man. Just like how these disciples back then, 2,000 years ago, looked for the return of Yahweh Shah, established the kingdom, and, and, and give that power unto them. Well, the Lord said it wasn't that time, but now we're in the time, man. Now what the Lord said that, uh, but you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and we receive the Holy Spirit, man, by the way of understanding these truth, the truth, these scriptures here in the last days, man, coming back to our nationality, knowing the prophecies, man, about the destruction of America, who is uh, the so-called white man really is, man, the Edomites, man, and these heathens right along with them, that's, that 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 came together and trying to and destroy us as a nation, man. Trying to take our inheritance from us, man. You know, but now the Lord has given us the Holy Spirit back, man. And that's a, a form of, of spiritual power, man. You know, that's the first level of spiritual power, having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. But it's it's going to be physical, man, real soon, man. You know, when the Lord gives men that power to do miracles, man, just like in the ancient days. And it said, and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. And the uttermost part of the earth is here in, in America, man. You know, because this was mainly where the truth stem out, you know, branch out from, man. You know, you know, started over here in America. Now the truth is getting out throughout the whole entire planet earth, man. You know, because the Lord is bringing the elect together and the elect is scattered scattered throughout the whole entire planet earth because as a nation and during the time of slavery we were scattered man you know throughout these different uh countries under these heathens man that where you get the confused faces brothers from man you know that might look like a typical heathen but if they bloodline go back to those negroes latinos native americans that were scattered amongst the heathens they are israelites man and they're going to receive power man um So we in the time of, of power, man. And you how about Shem Yahweh Shah is about to raise his men up. And that's why Esau, man, is, a, is afraid, man. He know the power that the Lord is going to give his men. This is um, Luke chapter 24. Verse um verse forty eight. And it says, I start at verse forty seven. And and that repentance and remissions of sin shall be preached in the in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And that were going taking place now, man. Just like back in the ancient days, man. The Lord had his disciples going out there preaching his name, man. You know? Just like how we had in the book read in the book of Acts, you know. You know, they were going to receive that power, man. And the, the disciples did have power in the time of books, uh, uh, the book of Acts, man. That's why they call it Acts, man, because all the, the, the miracles that the disciples was doing, man, in that time, man. And we're in the books of Acts all again, uh, all over again. And we out there pushing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it said, And ye shall be witness of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be until you be endured with power from on high. Kind of, cause, the, cause the type of power we're gonna get is gonna be from on high, man. You know, it's gonna be the spiritual power from the higher power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, the creators of everything, man. You know, the power of you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, the true Israelites, man. You know, and he's gonna get that grant that he's gonna grant that power to the elect, man. You know, 
That's why we got the endure, man. Because those that that gonna endure, the Lord Yahweh Shah is gonna give them power, man. Um and that was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah promised to us, man. That spiritual power. That's why Esau is so afraid, man. He know that the Lord is going to give his man that spiritual power, man. But in his corner mind, <clears throat> he think, you know, that he's going to be able to defeat the Lord, man. His men, think he's going to defeat his, his men. Thinking that he's going to, you know, win against the angels. When Yahweh shall return with the angels during the time of World War III. You know, but he's not, man, because the Lord's power is more, you know, uh, 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 on a higher level than the power that Esau had, man. And on top of that, the Lord gave Esau the blessing of this technology that he had, that he had, man. But the power that the Lord going to give his elect men is going to be far more uh, uh, exceeding than the power that Esau had, man. This is uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 17. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, Behold, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Kind of so the Lord will give his man that power, man, that nothing's going to hurt him, hurt him, man. You know? Like how they portrayed in these uh, uh, comic books, man, or these superhero movies, man, like Superman, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, the mighty man of uh, 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 Israel is going to get that power just like Superman, you know, and nothing by any means shall hurt, hurt us, man, you know, and it says, uh, notwithstanding in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your your names are written in heaven. Come, cause you know the Lord is telling His elect men, rejoice, cause you part of the elect, man. How about Shmuel Shah grant this power to the elect, man? You know they have power over the elements. You know, be able to fly. You know, to run fast. All that's in the Bible, man. You know, but in this world, man, they take it as a. Uh, 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 a, a myth, you know, such things like that can't exist, man. You know, superscript. You know, like I said, the, the ability to fly, you know, run at uh, super speed, man. But Esau knows, man. He know that, man. And he know about the acts of Yahweh Shah. But throughout Yahweh Shah's whole ministry, what he was doing, man, he was doing miracles, man. You know, he walked on water. Turn water into wine, you know, calm the seas, you know, uh, 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 red people's minds, you know, teleport, uh, uh, changes appearance, you know, heal people, you know, from, from, from any, you know, sickness, the lame, the, you know, the cripple, you know, because Yahweh Shah had that power, man, and he's going to grant that power to the men that believe on him, man. Um, this is, this is on John, John chapter 14, verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. And kind of like, just like I said, man, Yahweh Shah did all type of miracles, man. And that's how the majority of the elect during that time came into the fold, man, by, leave it, by believing on the works that Yahweh Shah was doing, man. And the man, his man that he gave that power to, man. Um, verse 
12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Kind. So the Lord going to give his men, grant his men who believe on him that spiritual power, man. You know? And he said greater things, man. You know, the, the scripture says that, you know, that, that Yahweh Shah did so many um, miracles that the books couldn't contain it, man. You know? So, the majority of the things that Yahweh Shah done, man, wasn't even written in the scriptures, man. But he told his elect men that believe on him that they're going to do greater things than him, man. Are you talking about Yahweh Shah, man, the son of the heavenly father, the first begotten, man, you know? You know, that created everything through the spirit of the heavenly father that the Yahweh gave him to create everything here on the earth, man. And to say that, you know, he's going to give his men spiritual power to do greater things than him, that means that, you know, the, the men of the Lord have a great uh, spiritual blessing coming to him, man. Um, this is uh, John chapter, chapter, um, John, John chapter 21, verse 24, and it said, this is the disciple which testifies of these things and wrote these things. We know that his testimony is true. Kind of, so the elect know and believe that Yahweh Bashim al uh testimony is true, man, that all the words that, that he's going to, that the words or the scriptures that he spoke of is going to be fulfilled, man. The prophecies, man. And there is also many other things which Yahweh Shah did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose that, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So Yahweh Shah did so much miracles, man, that even the, the, the world couldn't contain it, man, you know. As they said, the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So the Lord left out the majority of the miracles that he done during the time of his ministry, man. You know, so the Lord will give his man that power, man. And that's a heavy topic, man. Brothers always go into that spiritual power, man. But that's what the elect man is going to receive, man. And it's all throughout the scriptures, man. You know, because when you look at the, the name, the Omen Nomen, Israel, it simply means, uh, uh, you know, Omen Nomen meaning name prediction. And that, uh, Israel simply means he, prince of power, man, you know. And we are the princes of the power, man. And like I always say, I always say, you know, ain't no way the Lord call us the prince of the power and we're not going to receive any power, man. That's what the Lord created Israel to be, man. The Negroes, Latino, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Beatle princes of the power, man. When we're receiving our power, man, because we're in the time of the downfall of our enemies, you Edomites, you so-called white people, man, starting off with your elites, man. And if I can be issuing once your house shall return and destroy this place and gather the elect by the ways of the chariots, you know, and this place be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, after that, man, the kingdom is going to be established through Yahweh Shah here on the earth, man, in the land of Israel, you know, after the World War III, man. And we're going to uh, have that power to put all you nations into captivity, man, starting off with you so-called white people, you Edomites, man. You know, Esau, you know, he got all these weaponry, you know. Like I said, he got his super soldiers, you know. You know, he got his tanks, his fighter jets, you know, his guns. You know, his armory, when it comes to his exo exoskeleton suits, you know, Iron Man suits. But the Lord is going to give his man that power that Esau ain't going to, it's not going to be, you know, he's not going to able to prevail, man. He's going to lose, man. Miserable. Um, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 40, 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. And we're in the west, man. We're in the western hemisphere, man. America, man. You know? And we fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why we go out there and exalt it, man. You know? And it said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, 
the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Kind of so when Esau bring this martial law, you know, bring those Gurpa troops, you know, storm troopers, you know, these NATO troops, you know, you know, Lord, and, and, and when they come up against the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh his servant, the Lord is going to lift up that standard against them, man. You know, that word standard going to, to you know, to put them to flight or, or, or to flight, you know, because the Lord can give his men spiritual power to escape that, man. <clears throat> and the Lord also can give his spiritual power to fight against these uh, um, uh, martial law troops, man. You know, to back them up, man. And the Lord is about to lift up that standard, man. Because the scripture says, touch not the anointed, man. Touch not the Lord's anointed, man. Now, who's the, the anointed right now? The elect. The 144,000 and the one-third. You know, the Lord is going to give two-thirds of you wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You wicked Israelites over to Esau, man. Because you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim And the scripture says, you know, those that don't believe, he's not going to be defended in that day. You know? They're going to be um, numbered to the slaughter, man. When Esau come with that wrath, man. Um, and Esau, man, he, you know, his time is running short, man. This is, um... <clears throat> This is Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So all this weaponry that Esau had, man, when Yahweh Bashim Shah give his men that power, man, it's not going to uh, prosper, man, you know. It's not going to destroy the elect, man. The Lord going to have that hedge over the elect by the way of spiritual power, you know. The guardian of the, the angels, man, you know, the angels protecting his men. The spirit of the Lord being with his men, you know, to, to, to escape that, that wrath from Esau that the Lord going to put on him to destroy two-thirds of you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, but the elect is not going to be affected, man, you know? The ones that were granted to be, uh, 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 that had that power, man, you know? Because you're going to have some that's going to be martyrs, you know, but the Lord going to save the majority of the elect by the way of his power, man. You know, and the ones that be martyrs, you know, they're going to be the ones that's going to be risen up with Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah return, man, and establish the kingdom, man. They're going to be the first fruits also. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that, is rise, that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Console. No weapon going that um, that form is gonna prosper against the elect, man. You know, cause we are the servants of the Lord, man. You know, and they can't condemn us, man. Cause we come in in the spirit and power. You how about Shimei was shot? A power that can't be condemned, man. But condemn the ways of this world, man. Thou are these scoffers and scorners, you know, these non-believers, these mockers. You know, they come up against the men of the Lord, but they get confounded. Because they figure that we're just men, we're just regular men. Not seeing that it's the spirit of the Lord that's dealing with men that confound this, confound this world, man. You know, so they get confounded, man. Um, you seen it, man. you seen the Lord bringing back the nation of Israel, man. You know? The Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Now, we're seeing the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, man. The Lord's going to bring us back as the elect, as one. You know, and we're going to be his His army, man. And that's what Esau is afraid of, man. This is um, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, 
that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. The council of the Lord is setting up the nation of Israel, man, once again, man. You know, Judah, which are the so-called Negroes, the real Jews, you know, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, Neg the Negroes being the head tribe, you know, which are, like I said, which is Judah. The Lord is setting up, uh, setting the Israelites up again, man, because the, the Negroes are the head tribe, and all the rest of the tribes are going to follow suit, man, you know, starting off with the elect. Um, and it says, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the, what day, man, when all hell break loose, man, when this devil come down as a, uh, with that great wrath, man, you know, when he come with that martial, you no know, martial law troops, man, his weaponry, man. And it said, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as a power, and the an angel of Yahweh before them. Counsel, the Lord is going to give his man power to like David, man. You know, anybody, you know, you know the story about King David. King David was a mighty man. You know, the top mighty man out of all the other mighty men that he had under him, under him, man. You know? You know, David did all type of stuff, man. All type of um, uh, uh, war tactics, man. Because the Lord had that power, man. Gave him that power to be the king and to de defend Jerusalem, Israel, when during the time of when the enemies used to fight fought against us, man. You know, during the time of like when um the Philistines, which are the Hamites, you know, the Ammonites, the Moabites, which are the uh, Japanese and the Chinese, when they came up against us, man, and David, you know, always had that got that victory, cause Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah was with him, man. So in that day, we're gonna be just like David, man. Um, this is um. Psalms 118, verse, um, I'll start off at, um, I believe the Psalms, no, Psalms 18, Salafi. Uh, so I'm just talking about uh, David going into the, the power, that's that power that Yahweh bless him with, man, to you know to fight against the um the enemies, man. Um, Psalms 18 verse 28, for thou with would light my candle, the Lord my power will light in my darkness. So David had that glow, man, that spiritual glow, man, like how you see in uh, Dragon Ball Z and certain these animation, man. You know, that energy, you know, and their whole body is lightened. You know, and David had the truth, man. He had the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah dealing with him. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power I have leaped over a wall. Council one man, David, man, the running through troops or armies, man. You know, putting on the death, man. You know, and he leaped over walls, man. You know, not no, like no fence. You know, no little, a little barricade, but... Uh, 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 large uh, uh, walls, man, you know, burials, man, leaping over them, man, and it said, as, as Yahweh, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is tried, he is a buckler to all those that trust in him, kind of buckler is a, a, like a small shield, man, for, de for defense, man, you know, so going back into Zechariah, the 12th chapter, man, when he said he's going to defend Jerusalem, you know, in that day, and all those that are feeble, because we are feeble right now, man. We're going to be as Cain David, man. When the Lord grant this man that power, man, you know, he's going to be that buckler unto us, man, because we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we're looking for Yahweh Shah to grant us with that power, man, because that's what we supposed to have, man. And it said, For who is a power save the Lord, or who is a rock save our power? It is. Uh, Yahweh that grip me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He make my feet like hand feet and set me upon 
my high places. Console gave it had the ability, you know, to move fast, man. You know, like Flash, you know, Quicksilver. You know, these uh, uh, superhero uh, 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 characters, man. They What they portrayed in the world today, man. Continue on. He teaches my hand to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Council David was bending steel, you know, punching through steel, man, bending steel, you know. And, and, and it said that the, he said that the Most High taught, taught his hand to war, man. And, 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 and how did Most High, uh, um, how did David learn all that? When, when Yahweh Shah put the spirit on him, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah put the spirit on him to learn how to do that, man. You know? And this is the things that we're looking for, man. Just like how David Grant got that power granted to him, man. Because we worship the same power, man. Um, and I have also given me the shield of salvation. Thy right hand have a holding me up. Have a holding me up. And thy gentleness have made me great. So that's talking about the, the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that David, you know, was given reverence to for protecting him, man. Um, like I say, man, the Lord is bringing the nation of Israel together, man. You know, and these devils, man, they're, they're afraid, man. This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up against the prey. But my determination is to gather the nation, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Counsel, we got to wait on the Lord, man. You know? That's what we're doing, man. We're not you know, going to be no radical group, man. As some of these Israelite camps, you know, thank you, man. Like IUSPK, you know, uh, uh, HOI, you know, going to the gun range, you know, practicing, you know, target practicing and all that, man. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna need no weapons, man. You know, no carnal weapons uh, 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 of this world, man. The Lord's gonna give us that power from on high, man. We just have to wait, man. And while we waiting, man, we preaching this word, man. We're going to be the Lord's weapon, man. You know? But, you know, you got to have uh, uh, faith to believe that, man. A lot of those dudes, they don't have faith, man. That's why they can't, you know, uh, um, um, that's why they can't imagine the spiritual power, man. They think it's a myth, man. But they call themselves Israelites. Want to depend on the gun. And hear the Lord telling them, Telling the his, telling uh, the elect he's gonna give them spiritual power, his servants the spiritual power, but they don't believe, man. Showing you that they really don't believe in you. How about Shemya was shot? Uh, this is um this is um Isaiah chapter forty verse twenty seven. Why says thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my power? Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, and he in crimson strength. Counsel, that's what we're looking for, man. Because we don't have no might, man. We under the captivity under our enemies, man, you know, we in captivity under the, uh, our enemies, the Edomites, man, right along with the rest of these heathens, man, so we at a point where we weak, man, you know, majority of our nation, they lost, you know, they don't have no true leaders beside us, man, the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders on down, you know, we all bugged out, man, you know, effeminate, you know, a bunch of uh, homosexuals, lesbians, you know, just lost, man, and all type of wickedness, man, you know, and even amongst the brotherhood, you know, uh, uh, the whole elect, you know, we catching hell, man, 
you know, all because, you know, we Israelites doesn't mean that everything, you know, going smooth. You know, when, while we still here in this world catching hell, suffering, we suffering worse than them, man, because we know what time that we in, man. But the only thing, the difference between us and the blind Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that we had that faith, man. We had that hope, man. We know uh, that the Lord is going to raise us up, man. That we're not going to be on the bottom forever, man. You know? But he's going to increase our strength, man. I've, uh, um, I've, um, he want to uh, increase our uh, strength in the time when, uh, when we meet Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is that time of Jacob trouble, man. And now hell break loose. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, He gave power to the faint and to them that have no power, no might. He increased strength. Even a youth shall, fall, shall faint and be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. Kind of meaning to be weak bodies, man. You know? You know, we, we had the weakest, uh, the lowest state that we ever been in uh, in history, man. You know, the food is garbage. The water is poison. You know? The mindset of the people is on a low vibe. You know, when it comes to, you know, spirituality. You know? We had, because we in a, you know, a, a, a state of weakness, man. You know? Getting all type, having all type of illness, you know. And the Lord, but the Lord is going to renew our strength, man. And it said, um, verse 31, But they that wait upon Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh shall renew their strength. Kind of just like back in Zephaniah, the, the third chapter, man. You got to wait upon the Lord, man. For those that wait upon the Lord, on the, on the scriptures, say that he's going to renew their strength, man. You know. You're going to give them that power, man, to sustain. And it said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Talking about the, the, the ability to fly, man. Like I say, man, like these comic uh, superhero uh, characters, man. You know, to, to be able to soar, man, to fly, man. They shall run and not be weary to be, to be able to, to run at top speed, man, at a high speed, man. You know, and they shall walk and not faint. We ain't gonna faint, man. You know, we're gonna get. We're not gonna get tired once you how about you shall give us that unlimited power, man. You know, give us those angelic bodies, man, to be like these uh, superheroes, man. You know, we're gonna be the real deal, man. We ain't gonna be no no uh, 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 a figurative uh, 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 comments, man. You know, we're not gonna be like you know these these cartoons, man. You know, because like I said, man, Esau got the ideas from the scriptures when he came up and, and, and created all these comics, man. You're going to be the real thing, man. You know, we're not going to be, we're not going to able to be able to, uh, we're not going to uh, think, man. You're going to have that ultimate power, man, that unlimited power, man. That's what we're looking for, too, man. Um, <clears throat> the next chapter, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Fear not, thou worm, fear not, thou worm, Jacob, kind of, like I say, man, we had a low state, man, you know, Jacob, man, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, the Israelites, man, you know, the Lord tell us not to fear, fear not, man, going into the elect, man, and he call us a worm, man, a worm is uh, basically defenseless, man, you know, they can't defend itself, man, to a certain extent, man, meaning that we had a low state, man, a weak state. Fear not thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel, I will help thee see Yahweh by Shimyawa Shah. And thou redeemer the Holy One Israel. So Yahweh by Shimyawa Shah said he's gonna help us, man. And how the, the way that we're gonna receive the help of Yahweh by Shimyawa Shah? By having faith, man, doing his will, man. You know, and believing that he's gonna help us, man. And he's gonna help us by the way of giving us that power, man. And it said, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp thrusting instrument. Having teeth, thou shalt thrust the mountains and beat them small, and shall make and shall make the hills as cheese as chaffs. Thou shalt fan them and be, and, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall and shall great and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Counsel the Lord said that. He's going to make us a new sharp thrusting instrument, man, with teeth, man. You know, 
going to back to the light. The Lord is going to make us his weapon, man. You know? We're going to be the Lord's weapon, man. Like I said, we ain't going to need no physical weapons, man. We're going to be the weapon, man, through that spiritual power, man. You know? Uh, that's another one. So the Lord is going to use his men as his weaponry, man. That spiritual power. Man, you saw power ain't going to compare to the power that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is giving us, man. That's going to give us. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, with thee will I destroy kingdoms, with thee will I break in pieces horses, his riders, with thee will I break in pieces the chairs as his riders, with thee also will I break in pieces men, women, and with thee will I break in pieces young, with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. So the Lord going to give his man power, man, to destroy uh, uh, nations. You know, these heathens, you know, their government, you know, their military. The Lord's going to use his men. He said we are his battle acts and weapons of wars, man. And you got to have faith to believe that, man. That a man, you know, uh, uh, we, we, as men, we're going to receive that power, you know, and to go against militaries, man. Without any type of, uh, uh, we don't even have to use no uh, physical weapons like guns, you know, tanks, you know, fighter jets, you know. How these nations gonna fight against each other in this World War Three, man? The Lord's gonna use His men. We're gonna be the weapon, man. Uh, it said, "I will break in pieces with the shepherd, his flock. With thee will I break in pieces the husband and his yoke oxen, or oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers." So the Lord's gonna use His men to take down all these different governments, man. You know. Mainly America, man, you know. So we're going to be the Lord's weapon, man. And that's through all out the scriptures, man. We'll be able to, you know, shoot energy blasts, man. You know, or uh, 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 lasers, you know, fire out of our eyes, you know, our mouth, you know, our hands. Control the elements, you know, like Sub-Zero, you know, freezing people. You know, doing all type of marvel things, man. Lord's gonna give us all type of power, man. Lightning, you know, all type of power, the elements, man. And these devils, man, and these heathens, and the ones that join, the ones of our people that want to join hand with the heathens, they ain't gonna stand a chance when they come to the Lord on uh, uh, raising up his men with that power, man. And fighting against these armies, man. This is all in the, the book of, uh, of the Apotheca. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 17. And he shall take to him the jealousy. He shall take to him his jealousy for the complete armor. And make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. So the Lord is going to make the nation of Israel stop off with the elect. You know, his armor, man. You know. And he said he shall make the cre the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Because kind of we the Lord top creation, man. The nation of Israel, man. Starting off with the elect. And he's going to give his man that power to avenge the enemies, man. Who are the Lord's enemies? Which are our enemies as well. Starting off with you so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. And the rest of you heathen nations, man. So the Lord is going to use his men. Uh, uh, is elect men as their armory, man, as their weapon, man, you know, to come against your, your armies, man, and defeat y'all, man. You see, um, he shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of a helmet, talking about the spirit of the Lord, man, that's going to be on his men. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield, his, his, his serve he served wrath shall be sharpened for a sword, and the world the world shall fight with him and against the unwise. You know, because, you know, the Lord is going to fight against 
the nation of Israel, man, the elect, man, you know, and they're going to fight against uh, Yahweh Shah. When, when Yahweh Shah return, like I said, in this World War III, man, you know, with his, with his chariots, man, and he's going to fight against these uh, armies, you know, during the time of World War III, and he's going to defeat them, man, bring the kingdom down, man. Uh, that's it on that. So basically, man, this is a quick little, you know, lesson about spiritual power, hoping that, you know, edify, you know, about to close it out. I'm going to grab one more scripture. And this is Psalms 110 and 3. Thou people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beautiness of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Come so that Lord saying in that day, man, our people going to be willing, man. They're going to be willing to listen, man. And for a lot of them, it's going to be too late, man. But you're going to have some of the one-third that's going to be walking up off the miracles also. You know, that your house shall going to give us the late men, you know, that, that power, that spiritual power to do, you know, uh, miraculous, you know, uh, uh, miracles, man. You know, all type of miracles, man. That's going to bring in the one-third of the elect, man. But two-thirds, man, they're going to be willing in that day, man. You know, so these scoffers, these scorners, you know, for doing all this, you know, scoffing and scorning all these years, man. And when the Lord finally gives his man that power and show his power, then they're going to be willing in that day, man. But if for a lot of them, it's going to be too late, man. Only the elect is going to be saved, man. 144,000 and one-third, man. You know? So, brothers, man, we're looking forward to that spiritual power, man. It's coming, man. We got to pray and hope that we receive that power, man. And ask the Lord to give us that power, man. Because that's our power, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not going to hold back anything that we want, man. You know, it's good to say that if you, you know, don't want to receive anything, ask in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. The true power, man. And he's going to give us that power because we're in a time of need for it, man. Against the enemies, man. Against the the, uh, the, 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 the turmoil that's about to take place here in America and throughout the world, man. You know? So, brothers, man, keep on um, praying and fasting, you know, uh, studying, pushing out the videos, you know, uh, exalting the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, until the Lord established as a, established, establish us as a praise in the earth, man. And he's going to give us that praise by the way of that spiritual power, man. You know, all these nations going to bow down to us, man. Even the two-thirds going to reverence who the real men of the Lord is, man. And the ones of our people, man, that don't want to return, man, to seek their inheritance, you know, don't want to cleave on to the, their power, the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But the elect is going to cling on to him, man. And we're going to cling on to him until the Lord raises us up with that power, man. You know, so brothers, I pray that this video may edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So the next time I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakaq Dash, to the honors to the, to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us the truth and all truth and sincerity, man. And salutation to the fellow laborers, you know, that's out there pushing his word as well. Till the next time, Shalom.